Well, hello once again. This is me, Leonard Wells, broadcasting as usual from Haslingdon, 30 miles or 50 kilometres due north of Manchester in the UK, on Sunday the 16th of October 2011. I'm going to talk about this today. It's a little nail brush. You know, the type that you keep by the sink to clean your polish your na uh, clean your nails and uh, fingers when you uh, when you're having a wash and what am I going to say about it well apart from the fact that you should use it fairly regularly to keep your hands clean and germ free I have discovered a little wrinkle which may be of use to those of you who have a shower cubicle and who use a shower cubicle on a regular basis uh, and find, as I often do, that the grout in the tiles, between the tiles, gets very dirty uh, and difficult to clean. <coughs> and um, a day or two ago, <coughs> I suddenly had the idea that if I keep one of these in the shower tray, in the soap tray rather, in the shower, Every time I take a shower, I can rub the grout using the hose, the shower hose, and the uh, spray from the shower to wash it clean. And it works remarkably well because, of course, <clears throat> you can't go in the shower when you're clothed to do this because the water will get all over you. But if you wash the grout in the shower while you're having a shower, you don't need chemicals <coughs> which get into the air when you use these spray things and get into your lungs and God knows what damage they do to you, like smoking. Um, and it costs you nothing. And it's a little bit of extra exercise if you think about it. <laughs> so have a go at it. And you'd be surprised how much dirt there is between the tiles. Now, if you do this on a regular basis, your bath, your shower cubicle, the tiles and the grout between the tiles will be clean all the time. <clears throat> so just a little wrinkle for you. <coughs> Excuse my throat. <coughs> I brought a cold back with me from Romania on, on Tuesday. And they make splendid colds in Romania. So there you have it. Use a nail brush, not just for your nails. But keep a spare one in the salt tray, in your shower cubicle. And when you're, when you're using the shower, obviously you need to use a, a, a shower with a hose attached. If it's fixed, you can't do much about it. But if you want have one with a hose attached, like I have, you can go around doing the grout. Uh, and it works remarkably well and costs nothing. And it's quite green. But don't use too much water, and if you've got an electric shower like me, don't um, become blasé and stand there for hours, otherwise you're going to have a big bill. That's it. God bless, while it's still legal here in the UK to say God bless. Take care and bye for now.